Hello and welcome to Software to See from Festo. In this video, you will see how to program a Festo PLC with Festo Automation Suite. In order to do so, you need to have two things installed. First, the plugin of the device that you want to program, and second, the Codices extension. Both can be done via the Backstage menu, Repositories, and then select Plugins and, for example, the CPX plugin. And for the Codices extension, go to Extensions and select the Codices extension and install it. Once the Codices extension has been installed, it will provide a Codices system that is completely separate from any existing Codices installation on your system. That means a parallel installation of the Codices extension and Codices development system is possible at any time. To get started, go back to your project and in the device repository, Select the controllers category and the PLC that you want to program. Add it to your project and open its plugin. Now in my case I need to add some modules which are installed in the same rack as the PLC itself. So in the CPX plugin on the right hand side I go to Digital Modules and add a 16DI module, an 8DO module and an IR link module. Alternatively, you can also upload the module configuration from the device when connecting. Now let's proceed to the programming context and have a look at the Codices editors. On the left hand side, you see the navigation tree, which is taken from Codices, and it's the part of the whole Codices tree that starts with the PLC that you're currently working on. To add objects, just use the context menu, just like in the Codices development system. In the toolbar at the top, you find common commands as buttons, and all the other commands which are available can be found here via this menu button. Now let's create a little example program. First of all, I need to add a library, so I open Library Manager, click on Add Library, and add the Util Library, and then I'm adding a box to my program here. And via the input assistant, add the blink function block. And you can see it's just like in Codices, all the Codices dialogs are available. And actually, you can work just like you do in Codices. Like that, for example. Now for calling my program one, I want to use the input assistant and I can do so by right clicking and choosing input assistant here or by pressing F2. That's the Codices standard keyboard shortcut for input assistant and as any other Codices keyboard shortcut, this also works in FESTA Automation Suite. Likewise, I could also have started by typing and hitting Control space for the autocomplete function. Now let's download the Blinker program to the PLC. To do so, I click on the IP address in the connection dashboard and either enter the IP address of the target device manually or select the device from the list below. Connect to the device. and start the PLC program. Note that the toolbar buttons have changed and now offer access to online related commands. If you've got problems connecting to the PLC because the version of the runtime system does not match the project, you can change that easily here in parameterization, codices, and up here, select the correct version of the codices device that you want to use. The third number in the version string refers to the service pack of the runtime system. So if you've got a service pack 15 runtime system, that would be the correct setting. And for a uh, service pack 12 runtime system, one of those would match. Now, what if I need to install an external library? Well, just like any other software element, that can be done via Backstage, Repositories, 
And as soon as the Codesys extension has been installed, a Codesys entry shows up here, which provides access to the library repository, the device repository, and the Codesys package manager. Please keep in mind that if you want to work with a Festo device, first check if there is a native Festo Automation Suite plugin, and if so, use that. It will install everything that is necessary to use the device within Codesys. This was an overview of how to program a Festo PLC with Festo Automation Suite. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. Bye bye.